point to reach is currently switched off. You are not going to be able to get the fire. You are not going to be able to get the fire. You are not going to be able to get the fire. Hello, can I speak to Kavya please? Uh, just tell her it's Babru Ahna here. Uh, yeah, it's a real name. Uh, just, just say Babu, she'll know. Uh, hi, Kavya, this is Babru Ahna. Babu? Uh, what do you mean which Babru Ahna? How many Babru Ahnas do you know? Huh. <laughs> so how are you? Yeah, I'm back in Bangalore. Uh, so what's up? Hey, listen, maybe we should... Uh... Uh, oh, your son? Uh, you have a son? Um, never mind. Listen, okay. Um, I'll call you back when you're free. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hello, is it Cheryl? <laughs> Guess who, it's me, Babu. Oh, it's not Cheryl. Is it Cheryl's mom? Uh, hello, auntie, how are you? It's me, Babu, Cheryl's friend. Remember, I used to come home quite often? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 is that what she told you, auntie? Uh, no, I didn't cheat on her. Listen, auntie, uh, actually, I... Hello, hello. It's been a month since I got back to Bangalore and I'm still searching for my home, for the city that I left behind. Everything has changed. The streets, the buildings, people. I mean, where are my people? They've disappeared from the face of the earth. Family, friends, everyone. Married, dead, or I don't know. ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಲಿ ಶಿವನೇ ನಾನೀನೆ ಹೇಳಯ್ಯ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಲಿ ಶಿವನೇ ನಂಗೆ ದಾರಿ ತೋರಯ್ಯ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಲಿ ಶಿವನೇ ನಾನೀನೆ ಹೇಳಯ್ಯ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಲಿ ಶಿವನೇ ನಂಗೆ ದಾರಿ ತೋರಯ್ಯ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಲಿ ಶಿವನೇ ನಾನೀನೆ ಹೇಳಯ್ಯ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಲಿ ಶಿವನೇ ನಂಗೆ ದಾರಿ ತೋರಯ್ಯ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ನಗು ನಗುವೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ನಗು ನಗುವೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಯಾರ್ದು ದೊಡ್ಡು ಎಲ್ಲಮ್ಮನ್ ಜಾತ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಶಿವನೇ ನಾನೀನೆ ಹೇಳಯ್ಯ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಲಿ ಶಿವನೇ ನಂಗೆ ದಾರಿ ತೋರಯ್ಯ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋದ್ರು ಚಟ್ಟಿ ದೋಸ್ತು ಐ ಪೈಸಾರ್ 
Oh my God! It's you. <laughs> it's me, Radha. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, Babru Vahana. <laughs> hey, I didn't recognize you for a minute. How are you doing? What are you doing here? Uh, um, uh, I'm here to meet a friend of mine. Oh, you know someone here? Who? Where? Um, uh, it's someone uh, you don't know. <laughs> oh. Um uh, oh. uh, <laughs> um uh so how are you doing <laughs> Um I'm good and uh, how about you I'm good usual <laughs> <laughs> You were in France, right? Yeah. <laughs> so when did you come back? Um just some time back. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, listen Radha, maybe we should uh... Great seeing you. Nice to meet you. Take care, okay?
my lucky day. <sighs> Radha. <laughs> you again? What, are you stalking me? Yeah, of course. What do you think? <sighs> You're waiting for someone? No. <laughs> but I am in a hurry. Ah, oh, come on. I haven't seen you in 10 years. What do you have to do? Uh, I have to go. I have to buy some veggies for home. In a hurry. <laughs> So what are you doing? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? Not doing anything. I wake up, help my mom in the kitchen, go <laughs> have coffee, meet friends, watch movies. <laughs> you know, just living. That's not nothing. That's more than most people do. Guess you can say my life is at one of those crossroads. <laughs> um... What about you? I read something about you in the papers. You're a best-selling author. Hmm. It's good for you. Um, this best-selling authorship, it's not saying much. It doesn't really tell you how good a writer you are. It's all PR, marketing, hard-selling, trends. <laughs> Thank you. So, what brings you back to Bangalore? Uh, it's been a while, almost 10 years now. Been traveling a lot. Thought I'd come back and see, you know, stay at home for some time. <laughs> 10 years? That's a long time. What were you doing? Trying to run away from myself. Um, I'm also trying to write something. Oh, great. <laughs> Another book about how poor India is? <laughs> how did you guess? <laughs> no, definitely not. I've almost finished writing my book and I'm just trying to fix the ending. Now what is it about? Pitch it to me in one line. It's about a man who loses everything. <laughs> That's good. That's one line. But why would anyone want to read a book about a man who loses everything? Because people are sadistic. They like to see others lose. It gives them a sense of pleasure, I say. <laughs> I'm surprised people write anymore. I mean, where are all the writers? You know, the whole world is full of writers, poets. Everybody's a poet these days. <laughs> There's creativity hidden in everyday life. You dig a little deeper and you'll find, you know, poets and writers. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much philosophy for me. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I'm sure this coffee day has seen its own share of poets and writers. This place? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I have been coming here all my life and I guarantee you there are no writer, poet, specimens here anywhere. <laughs> no, I can prove it. What's the bet? You tell me. The next time I see you, you buy me coffee. Sure. It's a date. No. Uh, it's not. Of course it's not. Whatever. Okay. Prove it. Yeah, I'm sure right on this very table, there's been a great poet who's been inspired to write. <laughs> Here. Prove it, sweetheart. Hmm. Coffee tomorrow. Don't ditch. I know where to find you. I'll stalk you down and harass you for my coffee.
protests on our cell phones. Down, down with the dictator. That's what the protesters have been shouting. The dictator. Things to do. Right. Meet Ramana. Go see mom. Tell Radha about how I really feel about her. <laughs> Meet Siddharth. Talk to dad. Right. Go visit school. And... Mm. He's the reason I'm here. My idol. My God. My inspiration. Baharo phool barsawa Mera mehboob aya hai Mera mehboob New path, white clouds Best seller, huh? Hmm. When did this book come out? About three years now, sir. I just wanted you to have a look at it. You know, you're the reason I took up writing. How much money did you make out of this book? Um, not much, sir. How much? About $40,000, sir. Hmm. And what did you take home finally? Um, it wasn't a well thought out contract. I mean, after the agents and taxes, the take home was about 25,000. You say I am the reason you got into writing. And you bring me this book? Hmm? What the hell am I supposed to do with this book? Smell this? Eat this? Do you remember any of my old poems? Oh, yes, sir. I literally lived off them. I love your writing, sir. Especially your Lotus Leaf and uh, the Meghadutha. <sighs> recite a verse from Meghadutha. Sorry? I said recite a verse from Meghadutha. I want to hear it. Oh, um... Recite. <clears throat> um, pluck. Pluck this little flower and take it. Delay not. I fear lest it droop and drop into the dust. I may not find place in thy garland, but honor it with a touch of pain from thy hand and pluck it. I fear lest the day end before I am aware and the time of offering go by. Though its color be not deep and its smell be faint, Use this flower in thy service and pluck it while there is time. What is the meaning of all this? Um, it's an offering made to the Lord, perhaps to a beloved. It's an offering of love and surrender. All these years, all these years I have been writing, you know, about flowers, about clouds and fragrance, about ocean and mountains, about love and waves. And you know what I have realized now? It's all bullshit. It's just words that mean nothing. All my life I worked and I wrote. It's nothing. Um, no, sir. It's not nothing. I mean, 
you have given meaning to so many people. I mean, thousands of people have found meaning. You have given them a purpose. I have given meaning when there is none. Purpose when there is no need for one. What meaning? What purpose? Tell me, what is the meaning of this world? Children die every day. Women get raped. Millions don't get a morsel to eat. What's the meaning of all this? All I spoke about was fragrance and love. Do you find that here in my life? All I smell is the water of my foul body and all I taste is my phlegm. What meaning can be hidden there? What purpose? You know what that is? What? Repose. What you're doing? That's a repose. I'm not doing anything. Exactly. When your face has no expression, when your face is not doing anything, it comes back to its natural pose or repose. Interesting. Everyone's got a repose. Some look angry, some sad, some happy. What's mine? You just look stupid. Hey! <laughs> but you do look lost in thought. Everything all right? Today I met my inspiration. You know Ramana, right? Mm, the writer. Poet? Of course. In tenth, we had to mug his poems. God, I hate that guy. His poems are so long and boring and they had words like... Benevolence. I mean, what does that word even mean? Who uses words like that? You are just lazy. He's the reason I took up writing. Yeah, so what about him? I met him today. And you know, it wasn't the nicest of meetings. He's become this cynical, angry old man who has no regard for his own work. No respect for art. Hmm, that's sad. I always admired him, always wanted to be like him. You know, whenever I wrote before, I'd think, how would Ramana describe the longing of the beloved? Or how would he describe the mountain breeze? That's how I got my words moving. That's too bad. But maybe it's time you leave the old man alone and Move on now. Maybe you're right. I just thought I'd share my ideas for the book, talk to him, get a response. You can talk to me. Talk to me. I'm not doing much. I can help. I'll give you a response. Wow, really? Sure, why not? I mean, I'm not doing much. I've got a lot of time on my hands. God knows I can do something with it. And I'd love to do something like this. I mean, I can't give you a scholar's advice, but certainly a voracious reader's suggestions. <laughs> Great, it's a deal. <laughs> Are you in touch with anyone from school? Yeah, a few. You? No, no one. Looks like everybody's disappeared from the face of this earth. Yeah, tell me about it. I wonder what happened to all our classmates. Hmm. Well, Vijay, you know, never actually passed the 10th. Last I heard, he's riding an auto rickshaw somewhere. 
What are you saying? Oh, but Divya, you remember Divya? The milkman's daughter? Not anymore. She's a big manager at one of those IT companies now. The company must be getting free milk. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. Hey, but you won't believe this. What? You haven't even asked about your best friend. Who, Siddharth? Yes. What about him? I mean, we stopped speaking in tenth only. Some silly fight over. Never mind. So what about him? <laughs> you won't believe me. Try me. <clears throat> He's a monk. What? A monk. You know, a monk like uh, Sanyasi. You're joking, right? He gave up his home, left his job. We were laughing at first, but I think he's really meant to do this. But what was the reason? Why did he do it? He said he wanted to walk the earth. It's crazy, but amazing. <laughs> you think that's amazing? You must be crazy. But don't you think it's going to be fun to throw caution to the winds and just walk the earth? People believe him, you know. He's returned to Bangalore. He's living on the outskirts somewhere. I've heard stories about people being healed and miracles and all. Are you serious? What? That guy's raising the dead. That son of a bitch couldn't barely pass urine without wetting his shorts. Oh, <laughs> too much information. जब शहर में आ जा रहे हंसा भाई निर्गुण राजा पे सिरगुण से जी बिछाई थारा रंग महल में अजब शहर में आ जा रहे हंसा भाई निर्गुण राजा पे सिरगुण से जी बिछाई सिरगुण से जी बिछाई स्वामी जी सिद्धार्थ सर करते नहीं पुटा वो स्वामी जी कर कपा इन पुटा बब्रू वाहना so nice to see you man how you doing <laughs> what the hell man what the hell freaking crazy huh <laughs> so what's up with you man all this fancy dressing <laughs> <laughs> नमस्कार नमस्कार 
When did you turn God, asshole? <laughs> I've always been one. I just uh, realized it very late. What, the God part or the <laughs> asshole part? <laughs> A little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, man? I heard you turned author. Successful one at that. <laughs> I always knew you were good at making up stories. What about you man what about you this is crazy you know that right i mean what do you do all day nothing i just listen to the lord i do what is asked of me i just follow the sky you've lost your mind <laughs> no doubt about it and ever since then i am the happiest person in the world what do you mean happy i mean you're living like a bum you call this place your house i'm happy so what you don't do anything no nothing i've surrendered my will what's left to do i don't have taxes to pay no loans no bills no worries no stress <laughs> these people come here they show me so much love i'm happy what more can i ask for we are cheating those people man <laughs> you're really taking them for a ride you're just being a bastard you're still this angry young man huh? cynical and faithless i don't ask these people to come they come on their own They ask me to bless the children I do. They ask me to bless the crops I do. <laughs> I tell them God will take care and things get better. They think it's a miracle. <laughs> Just their love and faith. Oh, too much so what I've heard you you walk the earth. <laughs> I just follow the direction of the wind. <laughs> direction of the wind. I mean, so what you meditate, you teach meditation like the other gurus? You can't really call it meditation. We just gather around, we sing, we dance, we scream, we laugh. We just celebrate life. That's like weird. Hey, guess who I met yesterday? Who? Just guess. Your father? No, Radha. <laughs> you always had a thing for her, no? Not just me. You two were like totally in love with her, right? Maybe. It was not just the two of us, no. There were so many people. I think the entire school was in love with her. Yeah, man. She still got it. The most beautiful thing in the whole wide world she is. Mm. Anyways, I think we should go now. These people have been waiting for us. They come from really far for darshan. So maybe join us. Maybe some faith will rub off on you. <laughs> अमृत प्याला भर पाओ भाई ना से जब शहर में हरे हरे भाई कह कबीर विचार सेण माही सेण माही अजीब दासता है ये शुरू कहा खत्म ये मंजिले है कौन सी न वो समझ सके न हम सो डिड यू फाइंड एन एंड टू योर बुक नो आई डोंट नो वॉट टू राइट ही लूज एवरीथिंग ही हैज ही लूज एवरीथिंग ही लव एंड देन वॉट हाउ बोरिंग losing 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 you're such a loser <laughs> anyways write something hey i met siddharth today oh 
Great. How is he? Strange as it might seem, I've never seen him so happy before. Neither have I seen anybody else so happy and contented. You must really meet him. I'm unclear about what the change is, but the change is for good. <laughs> you can really feel those good vibes. It's good for him. You know, sometimes I really think if I didn't have a career, no responsibilities, I'd love to just roam around the world, drifting, writing, running, screaming, sleeping, riding on the bike with the wind in my hair. Don't you think it would be amazing? <laughs> <laughs> Those things only happen in the movies. Life is hard, sweetheart. That's life. <laughs> yeah. You have to pay the bills, pay your rent, work hard, earn money. It's the real thing. That's life. Uh, uh, Radha, have you ever been out of the country? All your life you've stayed in Bangalore? Yeah, of course. Why? You've never gone out of the country? Mm, I've been to Rameshwaram once. It's on the border of Sri Lanka. Does that count? No. <laughs> no, then I guess not. I guess I've never been out of country. That's because you have such a strong accent. Oh, you're such a jerk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Listen, I'll tell you. So I worked for a call center for a few years. And mm. you know they train you up on the accents, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I learned mine pretty well. <laughs> Thought I might as well keep it. <laughs> pretty good, no? Hmm. Do you have a first memory? Hmm. I remember going to this photo studio to have my pictures taken. I think we still have these pictures lying around, actually. <laughs> I was just crying the whole time. So in all of the photos, every single one, I was just crying, crying, crying. <laughs> it's really funny, actually. <laughs> what about you? You know, I remember in my mother's native place, there used to be this river right next to my house. I remember running up to my mother. She used to just stand there with her arms wide open. So I could run into her arms. I was a baby. But I remember how much I wanted to be in her arms. How happy I was just to be with her. Nice. I'd give anything to go back to that moment again, just to be loved again. You are a bastard. You know that, right? You are a bastard. You know that, right? I just wish you would crawl up and die. Burn in hell and cease to exist. You are a bastard. I, I just wish... You are a bastard. You know that, right? I just wish you would crawl up and die, burn in hell and cease to exist. You're a bastard. I hate you. I wish you would just die. Is that why you called me? To tell me how much you hate me? To tell me that you want to see me die? Well, I might have some news for you. Doctors tell me that I have two, maximum three months to live. You're joking, right? You're not laughing. So your wish seems to be coming true. Why didn't you tell me about this before? 
you always ran away from me living in some alien land i've tried calling you you've not replied to my calls you won't respond to my emails what's a man supposed to do son of what nothing i die you are happy everything's good dad i didn't mean it that way i don't know why i was speaking that way i don't really mean those things you know i just i don't know i just wanted to hurt you well you have but i want you to know one thing regardless of what it may seem like i've always loved you as my son and i'm proud of who you are i just don't want you to fight once i'm gone i don't have much i've spoken to the lawyers i have a house a car and some few bonds dad you know i don't really care about those things so what do you want nothing i want you to live is there no way out i've tried everything i would know if there was what is it it's some kind of a rare disease of the blood stream the chances of survival are one in a million you know it's a very strange feeling to die of something that you can barely spell or pronounce so does your wife know about this no only my lawyer doctors and you not even your mother she is your wife not my mother can you do one thing for me you are my son after all i have a last dying wish please don't disappear again as long as i'm alive please live in bangalore i want to spend some time with you i want to talk to you Hi Radha how are you doing <laughs> Come in come in Narendra bhai is one of Uh how come what are you doing here I tried calling your phone was switched off Uh I just didn't realize <laughs> You're lying you're a horrible liar what happened <sighs> Nothing realize you are so religious I'm not Hmm Oh this is beautiful I love it Thanks Hey but something's wrong what's with the nose it's broken It was already broken when I found it <laughs> What do you mean you found it It was right outside on the footpath Somebody probably threw it out of the house because it was broken. Hmm. Oh. So it was just lying there? Yeah. It's supposed to bring bad luck if you keep broken god statues or idols at home, you know. That's sad. So then why did you bring it home? I mean, I couldn't just let it stay there. You know, you pray to these gods. offer them incense and sweets and what not and once they're broken you just leave them there you just throw them out of the house would you do that to your child son your mom or you so you adopt broken gods you can say that i try to fix them as much as possible but i don't really bother too much i accept them as they are okay god man come on snap out of this lethargy 
Look at this place. It looks like you've been here all day and it's hot and it stinks. <laughs> Come on, let's get out. Let's do something. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. What do you mean, really? But first, let's clean this place up. <laughs> Be useful, idiot. <clears throat> I'm so bored. I feel like dancing. <laughs> you know you can't dance in Bangalore, right? It's illegal. Bullshit. No, I'm serious. You can go to a club, you can sit and listen to the music, but you cannot get up and dance. No kidding. What's the problem? What's wrong? Moral policing, my friend. Welcome to the new Bangalore, a place where you cannot watch a movie after nine, get a drink after 11, or dance, ever. Screw those guys. What is this place? Nothing. Something. Never mind. You'll think I'm weird. No, I won't. Tell me. I won't think you're weird. This tree? Hmm? It's my mother. Oh. Babu, why do you have to be so weird? See, I told you. No, I mean, are you crazy? Who says things like that? This tree is my mother. Never mind. I shouldn't have told you nothing. You'll never understand. Okay, okay. Sorry, Baba. Please tell me. You know, when my mother died, we buried her next to this tree. This tree was almost dead at that point. Now you see it's all full of life. I feel it's her. Mm, like that, huh? <laughs> this is my most favorite place in the whole wide world. Babruvana, <laughs> <laughs> you're hopeless. या तुरे नैना इस किया है पिया तुरे नैना इस किया है पिया तुरी महक ने मगन किया है गलियों में फिरता हूँ जोगी मैं बन के जन्म की ज्वाला बुझा दे पिया तुरे नैना इस किया है पिया तोरी महक ने मगन किया है सैया की मजबूरी हम भी है जानी सैया की बातों में हम भी है बहकी सौगत खुशियों की रंग भरासे की कृष्ण
Hi, Madhu. Hi, it's you, Babu. Come inside. Hi, your father is in his room. <laughs> I'm here to see you. Oh, how nice. Uh, these are for you. Oh, thank you. These are lovely. Pleasure. It's a beautiful place you have here. Very clean. Nice. Thank you. Can I get you something to drink? Coffee or tea? I'd love some coffee. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. So, Madhu, is everything good? To be honest with you, Babu, I couldn't ask for more. Your father is so loving. He's spending so much time with me, buying me gifts, taking me out. I couldn't ask for more in life. But maybe sometimes I feel he's cheating on me. Believe me, he's not cheating on you. But you know, Babu, he's always been such a workaholic. So you know, to find him making time for me, putting so much of effort to make me happy, I truly feel blessed. I must say, this is good coffee. I wish I had someone make my coffee this good. What do you mean by someone, Babu? We are here, no? We are your family. I don't know why you go live in that old house by yourself. when you could be with us here it's not the same what's dad doing as usual working in his room Oh, who reads Ramana's books here? Ah, uh, no one. Then how come you have it here? Don't tell anyone. My aunt Van Mala used to be his girlfriend. You're serious? Actually, I don't know what happened. They were totally in love and into each other. But last time when she came down, she left these books with me. But anyways, who reads books these days? Is there a way I can meet her? Yeah, sure. But why? Let's just say there's some unfinished business. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow, post lunch. Yeah, yeah, absolutely fine. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. Certainly, certainly. Yeah. Still busy, huh? Yeah, got to work. Just spoke to your wife. She feels you're cheating on her. <laughs> I wish I was. So how's your book coming along? Not bad. You know, actually I'm quite proud of you. I'm very happy for you that you're successful. It's important for a man to be standing on his own two feet. Isn't that you always just cared about being successful, making it, winning always? Of course. And there's nothing wrong with it. You don't have to be sympathetic about being rich, about being successful, about being independent. I will is one. Life is about winning. All about winning. And what about death? How do you plan to win against death? You're successful. You're rich. Climb the corporate ladder. And now what? Babruana, why do you have to be so cynical about everything in life? Don't call me that. But that's your name. What if I failed? Winners don't speak like that. What if I failed? You were not brought up to be a failure. I didn't bring you up to be a failure. You never brought me up. What are you talking about? Where were you when I needed you? Did you ever come to my school? Did you ever know what my friends' names were? We never even went out on a vacation. And summer holidays, they were just for workshops, learning this and that, just to win, to learn, to achieve. That's such a cliche. What's with the self-pity? What do you want me to do? You want me to say sorry? You're pathetic. Isn't it a little too late to be sorry? Take some responsibility. Don't be such a sissy. don't depend on me or anybody else to make yourself feel good i didn't have a father at least you have a father 
Just giving birth does not make you a father. You know what? You've always been a bastard. You deserve what is coming to you. I hope you burn in hell. I hope you do. Hello, sir. Are you the owner of this house? Yes, I think so. What is it? I need to talk, sir. Uh, I am an employee of BBMP. Yes, please come in. It's okay. Uh, beautiful house, so much of greenery. We won't get this type of place in Bangalore. <laughs> we will sit here only, sir. Fine, please. So, tell me, sir, what is this regarding? Regarding your house, sir, we are from Infrastructure Redevelopment Commission in Bangalore. Taken up a project for widening the roads in Bangalore, interiors and the development of metro rail service. Uh, so, what can I do for you? You need to vacate the premises at the earliest. Why would I do that? This is my house. <laughs> Compensation will be available, sir. But... All the buildings are going to be demolished. There is going to be a six-lane main road here. Are you serious? This is my ancestral house. My mother, her father, her grandfather. We've all lived here. There's nowhere else to go. There's no way I can let this happen. I can understand, sir. You can go to the court. If you would like. But personally, I will tell you, you won't achieve anything that way. Sir, this is Bengaluru, sir. There is no place to stand still. You have to keep moving. All the neighbors have already agreed. And also have started applying for compensation. Better you have to do the same. So, what can I do for you, young man? Um, I met Ramana. How's the old hag? Not very good, I must say. <laughs> Is he ready to kick the bucket? I don't think so. I knew it. He's a fighter. He likes the struggle, but hates winning. I write. Since my childhood... He's been my source of inspiration for writing. But now, I really feel very bad for him. I suppose his drinking has gone out of hand and he's become just this cynical, angry old man. I wonder what went wrong. He's living every artist's worst nightmare. I heard you were once very close to him. Oh, yes, we were. We were supposed to get married. I loved him more than my own life. And he loved me more than you can imagine. Then what went wrong? Do you know how many awards and honors he has won? Um, I don't think I know that. That's because he accepted none. No awards, no honors. He has always been a rebel. He fought against the world. He spoke against war before anyone else did. 
at least here in india he spoke against nationalism called it the greatest evil he wrote against every religion in the world fought every tradition every stigma called it his pursuit of light truth and what not <laughs> finally that's what ate him up he drowned himself in it and never rose again i wanted to marry him you know but he didn't believe in the institution of marriage he said it was for attention seeking fools who lacked the spirit of independence and then my parents they wanted me married i wanted me married though i loved him i wanted marriage i wanted children family my own house and that was that as far as i can tell he never recovered he really regretted letting me go letting what we had go are you sure he never seemed so much like a man in love <laughs> he sent me letters even after i got married after i had my son he said he'd take care of my son as his own do you know a funny story my husband picked up the letter when i got home he was ready to sacrifice his happiness so that i could be reunited with ramana <sighs> That was the day I decided I would never leave my husband until death do us part. Wow. It's very feel me? No, I was going to say intense. <laughs> he lost me. He said he lost his inspiration. He never wrote ever since. That's sad. But how come you never thought of meeting him? I lost my husband a month back. Can you do me a favor? It's changed so much, huh? Remember how much time we used to spend here? We used to come here for picnics from school. <laughs> Actually, that way all of Bangalore has changed a lot. All those old big trees are gone. All those kakangris. Hmm. It's become a concrete jungle. Where's all the green? The one thing that made Bangalore worthy of living in is all gone, disappeared. And look at the traffic now. It's unbelievable, right? Even the weather's changed. It's funny, right? Everything you loved about the place just gone. Tell me about it. I mean, after I came to Bangalore, you're the only friend that I met, and that too accidentally. <laughs> I mean, all the others seem to be busy, married, gone out of the country, or dead. Yeah. I mean, I'm in touch with a few friends from school, but they're all married, so we hardly ever get to meet. I'm the last one in the gang to get married. Don't you think it's weird to get married and stay married? I mean you spend the rest of your life with just one person and one person only? You eat with him, talk with him, sleep with him forever? It takes a lot. It's hard work. I think I love it. I mean not being anxious all the time of having to meet someone, just accepting life as it is. Just living with one person, loving one person can be quite comforting. I don't know. having a husband a child a home of one's own it's really nice i love it you are sounding like this woman i met today vanamala she spoke the same words really <laughs> i don't know yeah this marriage business it's confusing um don't you think there is more to life like what like traveling meeting different people falling in love going crazy you know trying out different things 
living life to the fullest i don't know i mean i've lived all this time without those things and i think i'm doing fine i mean sure i'm not like a celebrity or a millionaire or a princess or anything but i'm really happy with my life the way it is living simply it's nice what's wrong with you anyway life is beautiful the way it is believe me nobody can pretend better than i that life is beautiful <laughs> you know you're a weirdo <laughs> but kind of cute <laughs> i'm surprised that we are actually kind of getting along i never thought that when i do spend time with you that we'd make decent conversation i never really imagined you to be you know nice <laughs> you thought i was just a dumb bitch pretty much <laughs> <laughs> but i'm glad we are doing this me too not bad though actually 10 years out of bangalore you're still the same guy you know what they say you can take a man out of bangalore but you cannot take bangalore out of the man oh, god i can't wait to get the hell out of this city why you don't like bangalore I love Bangalore, just not this Bangalore. I love the Bangalore of our childhood. Beautiful, green, chilled out, silent. What is this? Put that back in there. Can you just tell me what this is doing in your bag? I didn't know you smoked BDs and I'm the weird one, huh? They're not for me. <laughs> yeah, right, sure. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're not for me. <laughs> Then who? Promise you won't tell anyone. <laughs> Promise. Promise. Yeah. They're for my mother. <laughs> she makes me buy them for her as she can't buy them for herself. <laughs> This way, mother. <laughs> she smokes That's... them in the bathroom. <laughs> That's hilarious. Shut up! It's not funny. Give them back. <laughs> okay, maybe you should try them. Ha ha ha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, shut up! It's not funny. Why not? I mean, it's been a while, and <laughs> this is your chance to get crazy. <laughs> Anyways, what happened to your writing? I'm trying but but what I really don't know what to write I really don't know how to end it Kill the main character kill him he dies out of desperation <sighs> That's easy but that's not the resolution to the conflict I think I'll just give up <laughs> Very funny my writer philosopher friend go ahead retire <laughs> I don't know what to write I'm bored Sometimes I think I just need to scream and I'll be fine Scream and what Scream and walk the earth <gasps> Another one bites the dust huh Siddharth's influence I'm guessing You know I always wanted to be like Ramana. Now I see him, he's all old, angry, poor, and alone. I don't blame him, but I always wanted to be like him. Now I have no idol. The point is I don't want to do this all my life. Right? Don't want to spend my adult life with a paper and pen, but more importantly I don't know what to write. I mean I have nothing to say. Maybe you just need a change. I don't like change. Change is good.
बाहारो फूल बरसावो मेरा महबूब आया है मेरा हाँ इट्स यू अगेन वाई डू यू कम हेयर अगेन एंड अगेन आई टोल्ड यू द लास्ट You know, ma, this Radha, right? She buys her mom beedies. <laughs> so I thought I'll bring you something too. My surpak, ma. Your favorite sweet. Please eat, no? I want to tell you a lot of things, but I don't want to bother you too much. <laughs> you know this Radha Ma from school? I think I want to tell her the truth about how much I love her, how crazy I am about her. First eat the sweet no Should I tell her ma yes Give me a sign Just a sign Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I? हेलो हेलो हाय ओ डैड इट्स यू नो नथिंग आई थॉट इट्स समवन एल्स टेल मी व्हाट इज इट नाउ आई हैड अदर प्लान्स ओके फाइन आई बी देयर Thanks.
I never remember you drinking coffee before. I never knew you drink coffee. I smoke. I drink. And I have done drugs occasionally too. Here. New Path White Clouds by Babru Vahana. I want you to have it. What is it about? It's for you to read. Thought this would be a good time. I was never big on books. I don't think I can get to read one. But this, of course, is my son's. I've got to read it. Where's Madhu? She's gone for a wedding. You know, I've taken off. And actually for good, I thought I must spend my last days with family. You know, Babu, this is the most conversation we've had in 10 years. Yeah. Babu, Babu, you think I'm responsible for your mom's death, don't you? I don't think. I know. Why would she kill herself? She didn't. It was an accident. It was a case of overdose of sleeping pills. She just had one too many. And you think I'll believe that? Babu, look at me. Look at me, Babu. Why would I lie? Why should I lie? I loved her more than my life. I miss her even today as much as you do and maybe even more. Not one single day goes by without me thinking of her. You know that. Sad to see you sick, pathetic and emotional. You were never really there when I needed you. And more than anything, what kind of a name is Babru Ahana? All my life. All my life I've been teased. I've had the worst childhood ever. And all thanks to you. Who names this child Babru Ahana? What's wrong with that name? It's the name of a warrior. The son of Arjuna. You know he defeated even his father in a war. I want you to be more successful. To surpass me. To better me. I want you to be the things that I never could be. So you name me after Arjuna's illegitimate child? Brilliant. <sighs> Babru Ahana. Brother.
Hi, Radha. What happened? I tried calling you so many times. Yeah, yeah, we're meeting at the school. I'm coming. <laughs> हेलो से बुझाए सावन जो अगन लगाए उसे को दिस फॉर यू दिस फ्लावर्स आर रियली ब्यूटीफुल लुक्स लाइक द ओल्ड मैन इज हैविंग सच अ गुड टाइम यस ही हैज फाउंड हिज यूथ अगेन ए व्हाई डोंट यू जॉइन अस नो आई हैव टू गो मीट द लव ऑफ माय लाइफ टू टेल हर हाउ मच आई लव हर वाओ ए बब्बू I have written something. You want to hear it? Sure. The world can't take away from a man who has nothing. The world can't hurt a man who wants nothing. Hey, why don't you sing a song now? Yeah. No. Um... Come on. Badan pe sitare lapete hue. ओ जाने तमन्ना की दर्जा रही हो जरा पास आओ तो चैन आ जाए जरा पास आओ तो चैन आ जाए जरा पास आओ तो चैन आ जाए मुझे बनाए ये दूरी ना हम चावे ये दूरी ना हम चावे अब से मेरी दुआ है मर जावे मर जावे धड़कन की बीट्स है गिटार की लीड्स है सुन मेरी पारो मेरी प्रेम कविता है पल पल जिया तड़पे रे पल पल जिया तड़पे रे हर पल मुझे सताए देवदास मुझे बनाए मदर थ्रेसा ए वे वे यू लास्ट टू डेज नो फोन नो मैसेजेस देर वॉज नो वे आई कुड गेट इन टच विद यू फॉर गेट इट आई गॉट समथिंग टू टेल यू सो डू आई यू गो फर्स्ट नो नॉट फेयर यू गो फर्स्ट ना फाइन वील बोथ गो टूगेदर um uh, great i'll count till 3 then we both can say it at once dear okay 1 2 3 i love you i'm going to the us wait a minute what you're going to the us what did you just say you love me 
Is that what you wanted to tell me? What makes you think you love me? To begin with, it has not been a day I haven't thought of you. Every single day, I remember how incomplete I am without you. How utterly empty I am without you. Every single girl I meet, I realize how insignificant she is in my life when compared to you. How she can never match up to you. You are my yardstick, my pinnacle, my measurement. Wow. <laughs> Anything else? How long have you felt this way? Since kindergarten. <laughs> Now you're kidding. I remember the first time I saw you. We were getting into our class. You were just standing there. I had never seen anything remotely as beautiful. And I went, "Wow. This is what life is worth living for." I'm surprised we never even spoke in school. <laughs> Shut up. We did okay. <laughs> yeah, once every 3 months. How come you never told me before? I'm sure you could. How could I? I looked at you. I saw the most beautiful girl in this world. I looked at myself in the mirror. I was hideous. I couldn't frame a sentence. I wasn't worthy of you in any way possible. You would just laugh at me. I I wow. I guess I don't know what to say. I'm just confused. Why are you telling me today? I don't know. I just thought I could be good. The school. It's changed so much I can't believe it. It's like a concrete jungle. Yeah. Where's the playground? Where that building is? Unbelievable. What a rush. Of course, just being here. <laughs> Babruvahana present miss <laughs> <laughs> Radha yes ma'am <laughs> <laughs> god ragu used to sit there ramu there me guru and pradeep here manja and those loser boys there <laughs> <laughs> paro deepa chetana chandana Oh, and remember Abhilasha? And of course, Bhairavi. Hey, don't say anything about Bhairavi. Why not? The love of my life. You guys were so mean to her just because she was a little <laughs> overweight. Fugly. <laughs> you are such a mean jerk. This is why you're alone and you're going to die that way. That is what you think. I'm going to die like a meteor exploding in sky. Boom. <laughs> sure. You're going to die. of aids What are you writing miss Thought for the day oh. hey! <laughs> No let go <laughs> No not fair brat The world cannot take away from a man who has nothing <laughs> happened I'm going to the US So 
I'm going to the U.S. to be with my husband. What? Why didn't you tell me about this before? How does it matter? It matters to me. Yeah, right. Why would you do this to me? Why won't you just tell me? Why all this meeting and teasing and everything? You don't love me. You spend a few days with me and you think you love me? You think I should spend the rest of my life with you? What does it matter if I'm married? Why can't we just be friends? What we have. This is nothing. Hello? Dad also I'm all alone now all alone This Radha also no ma Why did she have to play with me if she was already married God it wasn't supposed to be this way I'm supposed to accidentally meet the love of my life I'm supposed to befriend her she falls in love with me and we both live happily ever after why didn't you give me a sign? Why didn't you? Are you even listening? Do you even care? Do you still exist or am I just speaking to a goddamn tree? All these years, all these years I've been speaking to a goddamn tree. No wonder people think I'm crazy. Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Samsara. This is called Samsara. You're so deeply involved with life. You don't know where you're coming from or where you're going. So what do I do now? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? You do nothing. I've lost my father. I've lost my work. Three years of writing goes up in smoke with all the memories I've ever had in that house. I have no house. No house, no home, no father, no mother, no Radha, no book. <laughs> but at least your father. You always wanted him dead, didn't you? I didn't mean that. It was said out of anger, spite. I loved him. He was my father after all. It was strange to see him lie there, lifeless, just like a log of wood. He was all right a day before. Now he's no more. Where does a man go when he dies? 
that my friend is a very deep question but why me why is why is all this happening to me siddharth why is nature being so cruel all this that happened everything i loved what about radha what happened she's going to the us to be with her husband You know Shankaracharya he once said blessed is the man whose only possession is his loin cloth something changed that day i never felt like this before it was the saddest day of my adult life but also the best i was now an orphan loveless and lost the only place i could call home but for some strange reason i was okay okay with the sadness with death with everything or was i just no the last time i met him i read out my book new paths white clouds when the book ended i could see tears well up in his eyes the same kind of tears that welled up in mine tears of gratitude gratitude for life for family for love when i put him to sleep that day Little did I know he would sleep forever. Nostalgia, they say, is pain from an old wound. So I left to nurse my wounds. Where was I going? What was I going to do? How was I going to live? I finally found a perfect ending for my book and a new beginning for Babru Wahan.
ना तू ना तेरा Oh, oh, oh.